Welcome back guys to our playthrough of Pokemon Blue. We have seven gym badges now. We've come a long way since we started down here in Pallet. We've caught uh, a few legendary Pokemon. Well, two technically and one mythical in Mew. We uh, have a pretty stacked team and uh, we've accomplished quite a bit. But now we head towards Viridian City where we will face our final gym challenge. That's right, we'll be taking on the Viridian gym leader Giovanni and his Earth-type Pokémon, and hopefully we'll get our Earth Badge. Now his team is uh, nothing to shake a stick at. He is a very challenging trainer, and he's very, very capable. So hopefully our current team will be able to handle him. All right, so walking right up here. Let's see, can I go around this area? There's a gym, dang it. <laughs> you have to go all the way around. There it is. Weird little barricades. Go around this guy. What does he say now? Freddy and Jim's leader returned. All right, let's pop inside here and see what's up. Yo, champ in making. Even I don't know Viridian leader's identity. This will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. I heard the trainers here like ground type Pokemon. All right, well, that means Raichu, who I think is sitting out front, is probably useless. Oh, no, we got Flare on in front. So here's our team. Uh, everyone is at 50 except for Mew. Mew is here as a novelty at level 20. I didn't really spend any time with it, but uh, everybody else is level 50 except for Flareon. And the reason being is because Flareon learned fl uh, Flamethrower at 54. So I got Flareon up there. Alakazam, Raichu, Blastoise, and Golem. I thought they'd all be right at 50. I didn't want to overlevel too much just because I wanted to make this a little bit more dramatic. Um, so we're going to go ahead and switch things up. I think Alakazam will probably be a big heavy hitter for us here, as will Blastoise. Raichu is not going to do anything. Golem, there's not really a huge benefit in using that either. And uh, Flareon, on the other hand, could be useful because of his level advantage, but I'm going to try to abstain from using Flareon because he has a higher level than most of the trainers in this gym. So hopefully Blastoise and Alakazam will be able to help us out. Let's see how we do. All right, there are multiple trainers here and a puzzle as well. And, oh, that's right. The only gym that has, gym that has items in it. Also, too, I'm still very sick, if that wasn't obvious. So bear with me on that. All right, what do we got here? I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. Yeah, good old three toes. All right, so what is... So his team is pretty weak, actually. 38? I thought these guys would be in the 40s. Um, all right, well, I guess we'll just have to deal, deal with that. It shouldn't be too complicated. I don't plan on doing any more level ups, though, by the time we arrive and take on the uh, the Elite Four. This team at these levels is pretty much exactly where we're going to be sitting at. I like how they said so they were using ground type Pokemon, and this guy immediately throws out fighting type. And they're not dual, but Chomp's family line is not a... It's not a ground or a rock type or anything, it's just fighting, pure fight. And while I have Golem on the team, um, I thought somewhere on Indigo Plateau, like towards Victory Road in that area where you have all the Pokemon that you run into, we should be able to run into a Machoke at a high enough level that I'm probably going to catch and evolve into Machamp, because I want Machamp on the team. Yeah, that didn't work out well here though either, so we're going to go back down. Okay, where are we going now? There's a lot of trainers here, actually. Wow. All right. Quite a few. We're going to fight them all. Heh, <laughs> you must be running out of steam by now. Well, not really. Shouldn't be too bad. Cool trainer. Huh. I don't think we've seen cool trainers yet, have we? The whips. What makes him cool? His outfit? The guy looks like he plays tennis on a beachside court. I don't know exactly what makes that cool, but... Stuck up, maybe? Arrogant trainer? Wealthy trainer? I don't know. These guys are getting a lot of XP, though. Ran out of gas. 
I'm working myself into a rage. There's another karate dude. Yep. Again, not ground type. I don't know, whatever. I guess they're a little bit loose on their uh, on their gym themes. Joke's face just kills me every time. Nice. Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. Interesting. So this area on this, if I went in this direction, I didn't have to fight any of them. All three of these trainers are completely optional. Tamer wants to fight. Rhyhorn. Yeah, my original plan was to have Rhydon on the team. I really wanted to have a Rhydon. <sighs> it just didn't work out that way. Because I think, ideally what I wanted, Alakazam, a champ, Rhydon, Blastoise, Raichu would probably keep him on the team. And then, if I had the option, it, it would have been, uh... It would have been Arcanine, but Gravelith is not available in this game. Why am I using Body Slam? What am I doing? I would have used, uh... I probably would just keep Flareon as a fire type. Ninetales isn't bad, but I think... Uh, I'd have to double check. I'm not sure if statistically Ninetales has stats that outperform Flareon. Maybe in speed, but I don't know about anything else. Let's take on this guy now. I didn't realize I was just like bashing body slam. I was just mindlessly taking these guys on and just spamming the button to attack. Another cool trainer. You notice that his sleeves look like they're rolled up a little bit. He's wearing pure white. Okay, here we go. Now they're getting a little stronger. sneeze coming on, but it's not happening. Boss my grandpa. Okay, we beat him so we don't have to worry about doubling back now. Huh. Now we're gonna clear out everybody in the gym. Close for a long time, but now our leader's back. Interesting. get right to Giovanni, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to... It's weird that there was an item in here just to revive randomly. I wonder why they did that. No other gym had items. It just seemed very strange to do that. Nido King was another Pokemon that I wanted to have on here. I forgot that you can evolve Nidorino into Nido King through a Moonstone and Nidorina and Nido Queen as well. That's the first time seeing Nido King in battle. That one's pretty cool. For the most part, Nido King Sprite also stuck around being quite similar over time. I think its shiny Pokemon card as well retained that that design there as well. Alright, I'm gonna double back. I wanna get that other trainer down there. I know I can get right to Giovanni this way, I totally am aware, but I wanted to first take everybody out in this gym. I need the experience anyway. Plus, if Blastoise is a little bit weak during the battle, that makes it a little more dramatic and I think that's more fun. Your Pokemon will cower at the crack of my whip. Why does this sprite have like a mohawk? But then it's a dude with a ponytail. I don't know if gold and silver, if the sprites all matched like their like the overworld sprites match the trainers in the battle but i'm glad that later on they were very very diligent about making sure that they looked similar i think what is it fire red and leaf green have probably the best sprite work of all the pokemon games i don't know heart gold soul silver they had some really good ones i think there was really great sprite work in emerald as well which by extension 
Ruby and Sapphire, but... Also a normal type, nothing ground about that. Ooh, buddy, you can hear my congestive... Oof, it's not good. Congestion? Fire. Karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. I don't know enough about it to dispute. Maybe that's true. I don't know. Sure. Sure, man. I do wonder why... Why are they not having Machamp? Why is it just a Machoke level 43? We have it set in our game that when we... If we have a Machoke at 37, it'll evolve then to Machamp. Which I want. Really bad. I could have done that way earlier on, but... Ooh, Hydro Pump. But I did not do that. Okay, Hydro Pump. Let's see. Water Gun is weak. Bubble Beam Body Slam. I'm gonna get rid of Water Gun. I don't... I mean, it doesn't really matter. We beat this dude already? I think we already fought him. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we cleared the gym. Time to take on Giovanni himself. This is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here. But you have caught me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Alright. Big Lips and Widow Peak. Yeah, he's gonna be kinda tough. That should be a 1-8 KO. I'd be surprised if he survived. Powerful water attack. Let's switch it up. Let's go Alakazam. I thought his Pokemon were in the high 40s, otherwise I wouldn't have raised my team to level 50. I thought they were going to be like 48, 47, so I was like, okay, 50 should be fine. A good clean number, but also gives us just enough of an advantage because he's if he gets a hit off, he's gonna completely take us out. Okay, we're gonna switch up everyone. Every person, every Pokemon is gonna have a chance to fight, except for Mew, obviously, because too low level. I didn't bother leveling it up. Really? I didn't expect that to be a one at KO. Well, level advantage, I suppose. Raichu's gonna have a heck of a time here. But I don't know, Nido King's technically not a ground type in this, is he? We'll find out with Thunder Wave, because I'm gonna try to weaken him first. Ah, there we go. I thought he was a poison type. Okay, Mega Punch might be able to do some damage. That's more than I thought. Ah, two hits. Alright. Well done. Better than I expected. Okay, this wasn't as dramatic as I thought. And right on is so ugly in this game. Derpy to the max. Okay, let's earthquake him. Right on will probably live. Hey, he did survive that. Nice. And there it is. Ha! That was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. 
The Earth Bad makes Pokemon of any level obey. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League Challenge. All right. Is this Fissure? I'm not going to use that. It will take out Pokemon with just one hit. I made it when I ran the gym here too long ago. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I ever actually used Fissure in any Pokemon game I've ever played. It just wasn't a move that ever interested me. Interested me? All right. Pink. Let's heal up real quick and then make our way to the Pokemon League, shall we? Gonna be facing our uh, rival as well. Rival battle. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. I do wish that these games, like, once you unlock, like, the Ultra Ball, every Pokemon Center would, or every Pokemart, rather, would sell them. Rather than, like, coming back here to Pallet Town, and now it's like, oh, they only have Pokeballs and basic potions and other weak items. Oh yeah, what does this guy give me? Oops, wrong one. I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this dream about a drowsy eating my dream. What's this? Where did this TM come from? Dream Eater. Okay, let's go ahead and save it for safety. I think this is where you can get a Nidoran over here. Wasn't there like an item or something down here in the bottom? I thought there was something down here. Like a hidden item, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess not. All right, let's go see if our rival's there. Actually, let me try something. I don't know if you can do it in this game, but I remember there was a, a method where you could use cut. It did, it cut the grass. I learned that way later. In the, I had no idea you could cut grass like this. Isn't that nuts? It comes back, obviously, but that's cool. See, what is this? There's gotta be a hidden item up here somewhere, right? Why else would it be here? Weird. There he is. What? What a surprise to see you here. So you're gonna Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Mark, as a warm up for Pokemon League. Come on. Oh boy. Yeah, his team is pretty stacked. This is what I expected of Giovanni. His weakest Pokemon at like 47. Um, I'm surprised we actually hit him with that. This is going to be kind of a tough fight. His Pokemon, I think, stat-wise, are much more powerful than mine. Eevees and Ivies aren't exactly a thing in this game, but there is there is truth to it that two Pokemon are not alike, despite like them being the exact same level. Their stats are going to be different. Oh crap, I should have switched. Oh wait, no. It's Rhyhorn. We can surf him out. Let's go ahead and get Raichu out there. Nice. Hmm. Growlithe, huh? Eh, we'll throw Alkazam out there. I'm surprised he still has a Growlithe after all this time at level 47. There must be some benefit to having Growlithe first, uh, in that he can learn a bunch of Fire-type moves that Arcanine can't learn. I don't know why the game would be programmed that way, though, because... That yeah, will keep him. Because I feel like they just let Blue do whatever he wants. Because he shouldn't, if I, I... He shouldn't have an Alakazam, all things considered. Oh, God. Why does it look like the Alakazam is wearing a Speedo? You notice that? Very 
and like the little shine, the shimmer on his shaft right there. What is happening? Yeah, his Alakazam is very strong. Stronger than mine. Well, I guess not. I can do that too. Oh yeah, mine's tougher. Ah oh, dang, he's taking so many hits. Flareon, torch this thing. <laughs> I was just careless. Got some money out of that, though. That loosened me up. I'm ready for Pokemon League. Mark, you need more practice. But hey, you know what? I'm out of here. Smell you later. Okay, whatever. I didn't read exactly what he said the right way, but nonetheless. Are there other... I don't think there's other trainers out here. This is a good spot to grind, I think. There's some good Pokemon in this little patch of grass here. I am completely wrong. That's not true. It's level 4 tatted. I thought there was... I may even think of a different game. I thought right before you got to the Pokemon League, there was a really powerful patch of grass here, but maybe it's later on. <laughs> That was so awesome. Such good Pokemon. Level 4 Rattata. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sick. Give me a break. My brain doesn't work right now. But all right, that's a good point for us to stop. We'll save the uh, rest of the path of the Pokemon League for the next episode of the playthrough. If you did enjoy this episode, though, you can show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links that might be of interest to you. One of which is a link to the Markanide Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. There's also a link to geekoutpost.com, an entertainment media blog that I own, operate, run, manage, design, and write for. It's a great place to stay up to date on the latest entertainment and gaming news, reviews, and rumors if you're into that kind of thing. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time, and hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Pokemon Blue. Alright guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you later.